Robbie Weeds here, um, standing uh, with these laurels. If you saw my last video, I was diagnosing um, some uh, different uh, damage on uh, laurels. Here you can see the shot hole and leaf scorch from before. But what this video really I want to be about is the scale we found. Um, if you can see, this is an armored scale. You can see the females um, there, the, the really hard. Uh, tiny little mounds those are the actual scales um, and uh, what this uh, is it's a white prunicola scale it's very common on laurels and cherry trees cherry laurels um, all of those laurels and cherries is where I see them the most um, this is very commonly when uh, some of my assistants go out they diagnose this as euonymus scale it looks very similar it has the white males all over the place. Um, so it gets diagnosed uh, very, very uh, easily, misdiagnosed very easily. Gets can get misdiagnosed as oyster shell scale, oleander scale, um, euonymus scale. But as I said, this is on a laurel. And if you look at a heavy infestation, you can kind of see the white uh, little hairs or the white tint. Um, that's not... Uh, usually, unless it's a heavy infestation, those other scales produce that white. If you could look down there, you see how the white kind of uh, covers the entire uh, uh, stem. And that's not something with an infestation this light. There are other trees in here that are completely covered and almost uh, the stem is looks like it's painted white. But if this was the same uh, infestation with another scale, you wouldn't see that white tint covering the entire stem. Like right here, it's real easy to see that uh, there's a lot more... Um, you know, white, uh, just kind of covering. I don't know if it's frass or uh, what it is, but uh, it's definitely, uh, when you look at it from a distance, it's more white than um, a normal uh, other, uh, whether it's oleander or euonymus would be. Even though they do have the white males, um, there is a difference if you line up one, uh, one by one. And maybe I'll do that in another video. But like I said, this is white, Prunicola scale. I'm gonna treat it by a soil drench of Dinote Furon, Safari, and then I'm going to follow it up with a, um, making sure that a horticultural oil would also do a very good job, especially this time of year. I could maybe catch some of uh, the crawlers and uh, um, smother them with uh, the scale or the, with the oil. But um, I think there's a really good shot that I could get this with a safari through the soil drench. This is growing very vigorously right now. So I think it will take up the safari very quickly and stop the... The infestation and then I'm gonna continue with uh, some fertilizer you can see that uh you know this is growing very rapidly so uh, maybe I'll get a long residual might put some merit or another uh, long systemic insecticide in here to protect it because uh, all these laurels in here are infested so um, I'm looking to you know stop the infestation but if there's some around here that I'm not hitting I need to protect them against that infestation coming back in so I'm gonna look for a long residual uh, systemic uh, whether it's merit or something else. I usually don't have a lot of luck with merit with armored scale I do get luck with merit with other types of scale, but I haven't had luck with them on oyster shell um, and uh, th This particular scale white pernicola. So all right, that's a uh, that's my bit I'm gonna treat this with a soil drench and get out of here. All right, Robbie weeds out